Safety and dangerous workplace conditions continue to be concerns for employees of the Charlotte Area Transit Service. Bus drivers planning to have a rally this afternoon, but there was a change in plans. Workers and supporters still gathering to make sure they had their voices heard. This all coming after a string of violence on CATS buses. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre in studio tonight with more on their concerns. Bus drivers say they should not be dealing with conditions where their lives are at stake while doing their jobs. Today, several supporters came together to speak up and call for better protections for drivers. There was an incident that regardless of the outcome, a loss of a job or a potential loss of a life were the only two options. As a city, I believe we deserve to give the operators more than just an option. Calls for safety heightened following a shootout between a passenger and a bus driver on May 18. CMPD says a passenger asked a driver to get off the bus in between stops. The bus driver refused. A verbal altercation turned into this. Surveillance video shows the passenger pull out a gun. The driver then pulled out a weapon and both fired several times. The passenger in the video was arrested and faces several charges related to the shooting. These are public servants who unfortunately are having to put their lives on the line day in and day out to provide transportation for the members of this community. Attorney Ken Harris has represented several bus drivers, including David Fullard, the bus driver who lost his job with cats following the shooting. Per the agency's policy, bus operators are not allowed to carry weapons while working. Saturday, bus drivers came together, locked arms in prayer, wearing shirts with the words, we drive and we want to survive. On the back, hashtag, bus drivers lives matter. They just want to do their jobs and they want to get home safely. Isn't it time for the system to do what's necessary to protect and respect them? This is not the first time drivers faced violence on the job, nor is it the first time they demanded for action to be taken. They say their voices aren't being heard when it comes to safety concerns. It has also been said that the trainings that have been put forth for the operators to defend themselves have been ill administered. You cannot give someone a broken wrench and tell them to build. Bus drivers and supporters say they will keep fighting until the proper measures are in place to protect the lives of those behind the wheel. What I will not do is to continue to have these meaningless conversations. What I will not do is continue to have these conversations fall on deaf ears. We are operators here in this city that deserves respect and dignity. Now interim CEO Brent Cagle and some city leaders have also spoken up about safety and say they are committed to stepping up security efforts and employee trainings as well as upgrading video systems to better protect drivers. Meanwhile, a rally is expected to take place in the future. No date has been set. Jesse Pierre WCNC Charlotte.